But you know what's actually really interesting about the brain is that you can feel the physiological effects of imagined pain now, but you don't actually get the dopamine hit of positive imagined events now. So for example, if I'm sitting in my room, I'm ruminating, I'm thinking about a potential threat, something that might happen tomorrow, something bad that's gonna go wrong, I can actually feel the physical effects in it in my body. My heartbeat is gonna start fluttering. I'm going to feel panic. And that's actually anxiety, right? So anxiety is fear projected in time. It's about either a past event or a future event. You can't actually have anxiety in the present moment. But the thing that's really interesting here is that because the fear response hijacks your body, it's so powerful, it's so visceral, you feel it even when there's no actual stimulus or threat in front of you. Versus with dopamine, I can sit here thinking about all the beautiful events, but my reward system and that neural pathway actually only gets activated once I receive it. You'll feel it to a certain extent, but you won't actually get the surge of dopamine until you actually experience the reward of achieving that beautiful thing.